Now, when it comes to the pelvis, we're going to start with inspection. Is one leg shortened and potentially internally rotated, suggesting a high femur fracture or a hip fracture? Is there any ecchymosis, any abrasions? Next, we move on to palpation. And you can do all of this literally in like five to seven seconds. You're taking a quick look, a quick feel, compress inward, rotate anteriorly, posteriorly, take the heel of your hand, run along the pubic symphysis, and you're ready to roll. Now, the reason palpation is useful clinically is because it helps you narrow down what type of unstable pelvic fracture you might have. The most unstable of all unstable pelvic fractures is from anterior posterior compression, and this is AKA the open book pelvic fracture. You'll have a widening of the pubic symphysis and you have injury to the vessels in the posterior aspect of this kind of pelvic fracture. If you suspect this in a patient, you immediately have to get a pelvic binder.